communication, but in voice and in person, so on the phone or in person and stuff. And I was like, but you don't mind if I was to call and if I had a question, oh, no, no, no that's fine. And I just re- realized that I'm, I'm 36, um, and even just, you know, 10 years, you know, you said you're 24, uh, there are 12 years of a difference in communication styles, whereas, like, a lot of what you may primarily do or people, like, say, in, who are 24, 25, is through um, screens. And I still have a bit of an old-school mentality. That said, I've had far more um, in-depth, enlightened, blah, 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 talks in person than I have on through texting. Yeah. You know, so that's something to think about. Like, if, if you, you want to have an important conversation, yes, then should you respect the conversation by honoring it, by having it in a person or on, or on the phone and with a voice and a yeah, tone at least a voice. and a human behind it as opposed to just a screen and, and mm-hmm. 26 characters? Well, one thing I've found is uh, um, just in work even, when there's so many moving parts and people that communicate things to you and the flow of information is just ongoing and it's usually so fast, there's mm. no writing it down. Like Maybe if you're lucky, you write yeah. it down quick, but usually you're just flowing it from person to person. And yeah. so trying to maintain the... Get what's important out of what the person is telling you, every relevant detail, then try and communicate that to yeah. every other individual person that needs to know in a way that they're going to understand it. Yeah, absolutely. And assuming that I even understand it, first yeah. of all, or then that other person understands what they told me, and then they go tell other people and then you know the situation changes from the top down again more phone calls and it's like (laughs) communicating is by no means a simple or easy task it is incredibly hard to actually communicate in a way where people mutually understand what we're talking about well you know just to I know we have to wrap it up, but Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will consider mathematics as the universal language, Mm -hmm. as like that is one of the one ways that everyone can because a number is a number is a number, Mm -hmm. and it kind of and it flows through um, every culture. One plus one does equal two. Um, Maybe we can say that for another podcast. But I just said that I'm just like, whoa, what's the universal language, man? (laughs) Mathematics. Yeah. But but that's how people can maybe understand one another the best in ones and zeros and binary but there's no emotion behind exactly it. it's not it's no human experience yeah and what are we doing here we're having a human experience yeah. like that's what should, I, I, I wish I lived in a world and this is the more idealistic side of me coming out for sure but <laughs> where it was like the idea of the culture was to humbly in our own individual ways pursue our own evolution yeah. but i feel like you know we've got so much other things to be do i think that's probably already what is happening yeah it's, oh uh, you yeah. know it's probably like what's always been this happening this is just what it looks like now in yeah it's current incarnation it's yeah. like this is just like this is how it is now yeah so i should just you know be grateful and chase it down myself like yeah and then because that's the other thing about the pursuit of one's individual consciousness being developed is that it's a voluntary task the individual needs to take on upon themselves yeah no one else is going to do it no no so if people don't want to do it they're going to do this for you yeah yeah so but um anyways i mean you're on the front lines offering people the place to do that the flotation center and yeah i feel pretty good about that that's awesome (laughs) i like what we're doing right on so like do you want to plug anything social media Um, where's this where's the place at how do people uh, find a book of flow we're we're located in uh, north and halifax uh right around the corner from java blend um our mantra is that we are a springboard for happiness and elevated levels of consciousness and um the way that i like to think of that is that I'm not here to make you happy, but I hope to provide some space to, to allow you to discover what that may be that makes you happy. Um, if people want to float, we have three float tanks, and you can call us or book online, um, thefloatationcenter.ca. But if you have any questions, if anyone has any questions, they can just always give us a shout because we do genuinely enjoy talking about floating and really trying to um, spread our ripple in what we're doing and, and get it out there that... This is, you know, this is a method for uh, personal growth that we really believe in. And now, now science is helping us uh, yeah. get that out there a little bit more. So, but, awesome. yeah, thank you so much for having me today. This is great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's, I agree. It's a blast. And thanks yeah. for coming.
Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Right. Maybe next time we'll actually talk about floating. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. For now, we're fine with our war talks and yeah, yeah. consciousness. <laughs> that was good, though. Great. All right. Good night. Good night.